This is Six Five Media on the road at Mobile World Congress Barcelona 2025. I'm Will Townsend and I'm joined by Sachin Kadi with Intel. Sachin, so good to see you. Great to be here with you. It's an exciting event, right? Lots of activity going on. Fantastic event, so much buzz around here. I think really excited to talk to you about it. Well, we're going to get into it. So a lot of people might not know that, that Intel has been very focused on the telecom industry for quite some time. Can you spend a little bit of time talking about some of the innovations that Intel has brought to the industry? Yeah, I mean, we have had a long history here. In fact, telecom is actually our biggest vertical if you track by business. Sure. Uh, the business is actually growing recovering from the last two years, but it grew 10% uh, quarter over quarter uh, last quarter. So we started working with telecom really like in 2010, 2011 timeframe, really drove with the whole industry and industry transformation. So started with the core of the network, yeah. really worked with the whole industry on how do we virtualize the network. And it was a partnership, right? We built obviously our hardware, but also a lot of software and a lot of ecosystem collaborations so to convince the whole industry to move towards this uh, virtualization journey. Sure. And I must say I'm thrilled about how successful we are. 100% of the core network is now fully virtualized. Right? Right. There is no core network that is not virtualized anymore. And that right. journey just be began 10 years ago. I think we are now on the same journey on the radio access network. Uh, every conversation in this show has been about, oh, okay, now we are ready. Right. Uh, now's the time to do it before the next uh, five years, before 60 shows up. So super exciting to be here. I think this has been a great partnership, a great show. I love coming here and talking to customers. Yeah, it's like my seventh or eighth Mobile World Congress in a row. And you touched on virtualization. I mean, that drives so much efficiency. And I understand that Intel recently announced a new line of CPUs that support VRAN and some core network functionality. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, the one you're talking about is the Xeon 6 SOC that we launched a week ago uh, in code name Granite Rapids D, so some of our customers might know it by that name. Uh, really step change in the kind of TCO and performance you can get. So this is one that delivers 2.4x better capacity than the previous generation, which was just out like 18 months ago. Right. Right, so the way I like to describe it to my customers is, we are bringing a Moore's law for telecom, and we are delivering. Gener generation over generation, we are more than doubling the capacity. Right. And not only are we doubling the capacity, because the other issue that everyone talks to me about is, how much power do you consume? How much energy do you consume? It's top of mind, given everything that's going on in the world. With modern AI, right? Totally, yeah. totally. And the wars and all that recently, everyone's worried about that. So this thing, not only delivers two and a half X better capacity, but it also cuts your power consumption by up to 70%. Wow, that's a game changer. So it's it really a is. huge deal. Yeah. Uh, and uh, very well received by the whole industry. Right. Uh, they are looking at this as the inflection point where instead of using custom radio access networks, you can actually now use programmable software defined radio access networks and build a radio network as you would build the rest of your cloud infrastructure. Yeah. Right? And it really changed the economics where this is now better than the traditional From network. a CapEx perspective, it's super disruptive, right? Completely, and it future proofs, proofs their architecture. Right. So it's now a cloud native architecture, they can keep doing software upgrades instead of having to go do a hardware rollout. So every conversation this week has been about how quickly can you get this out to me? Right. Because they are now like, this is no longer a question of should we do this, right. it's a question of when and how quickly can we do this. Yeah. And I think it's been a, a fantastic conference to have those kinds of conversations. Sure, sure. Uh, because the customers have been waiting for this product for a long time. Certainly, certainly. Well, hey, we would be remiss if we didn't talk about <laughs> AI, right? <laughs> so let's talk about AI a little yes. bit. I know the Xeon 6 SOC supports some new AI acceleration. I'd love to hear from your standpoint where do you see this, you know, playing very, very strongly? Like, as I've, you know, spent time at the show for the last two days, there's a lot of talk about AI RAN, right? But there's more to it than that. So, what, what are your thoughts around uh, the impact of AI on telco workloads? Uh, of course, you cannot go to a single meeting at MWC without talking about AI right, this year. Right. Uh, and so, this is no different. Uh, I think on AI, uh, the way we look at it is it's a fundamental transformation. It's going right. to change how networks are designed, how networks are operated, and what kind of things run on the network. Sure. But at the same time, uh, when we talk to our customers, 
their, their, their universal feedback is, I cannot afford to deploy another new architecture for AI. Right. I am constrained in terms of space I have in the network, how much power I have in the network, and I also still need to do my day job, which is deliver a network, right. Right? deliver <laughs> connectivity to all of you. Right. So I really need from you guys a single platform that not only runs my network, not only runs my wireless signal processing, but it also can run an AI workload. Sure. Because that's the way to make the economics work, make the math work. So that's what we are focused on. How when this SOC that we just introduced, not only we deliver you the capability needed to run your network, but also in addition add an AI acceleration uh, that allows you to run AI workloads. So with this one, we introduced uh, AMX and other AVX capabilities into our processes. Right. And that really allows you to do AI inference applications on the same SOC that you're running your base station on. And it can run all kinds of models, right? So imagine computer vision models, large language models, gen AI models, mm -hmm. easily run like uh, seven billion parameter models at the edge while also running a base station. In fact, one of the demos here at the show shows that you, an enterprise could take this SOC, run a private 5G network, run a 32 camera system where they can process the camera feeds across their entire campus, mm -hmm. and in addition, run a chatbot based on a large language model, all on the same platform. That's the power. I think we can now tell customers, we give you the flexibility to dip your toes into AI because you have the AI capabilities sure. you need. You don't need to buy anything else. Right. And then over time, as you figure out what are the use cases, how you're going to monetize this, you can add AI capacity. Right. You don't have to take a risky all-in bet today. Sure, you know, and the focus has been on GPU technology, but they're very power hungry, right? And a lot of what you can do, uh, you can use CPUs to do that, right? Absolutely. And, you know, from my perspective, proof is in the deployment, and uh, you work with a host of infrastructure providers to integrate the Intel solution. Can you spend a little bit of time talking about some of those partners and, and some of the results that you're seeing? Absolutely. So, as I said, the whole industry has been waiting for these uh, products to be released. Right. And our ecosystem is primed and ready to go. Uh, on the SOC for Cloud RAN uh, applications, uh, working with Ericsson and Samsung closely, yeah. uh, they are leveraging this SOC to build out their Cloud RAN solution. But I'd be remiss if I don't talk about the other Xeon 6, which is based on the e-course. This sure. is the efficiency course. Yeah. And that's been extremely well received for the core of the network. So this is one where we are working with Nokia, Samsung, and Ericsson, and almost all of them are seeing a three to four X improvement in performance in the capacity that they can process traffic at. And again, the same story. Not only do you get a better capacity, but also lower the energy consumption of doing the same processing. Right? Sure. This is a step change. Uh, almost universally, every operator, every partner that I'm talking to, uh, the narrative is, you guys are changing both the core of the network as well as the radio access network with these products uh, and talking about not 10%, 20%, but you're talking about two to four X improvement in capacity. Right. And you're cutting power consumption by And you're cutting CapEx as well, the same. It's a win, 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 it's right? A, it's CapEx, OpEx, yeah. and flexibility to do AI. So sure. it's on every dimension you can think of. It's been a fantastic show. Yeah, it's super powerful. Well, it's been a great conversation, Sachin. But as we close, I'd, I'd like to get your input on, we sort of touched on this at the very beginning of our conversation. As you've spent time here for the past couple of days, what, what excites you the most about what you're seeing here at Mobile World Congress 2025? Yeah, I think the main takeaway for me has uh, been, as I reflect back on two days of back-to-back -back meetings yeah. without eating lunch for two days. And we've got a couple days. more. Yes, so I haven't eaten lunch at all today. Uh, but it's been fun, I haven't felt hungry because there's so much to absorb and yeah. so much to discuss. But the main takeaway for me is, everyone's now realizing that they have to modernize their networks and they're all well on the path to do that, sure. uh, both in the core as well as in the RAN. And now the question is shifting towards how do I monetize my network? That's been the classic challenge yes. with the telecom industry, right? Yes, yes, and uh, modernize and monetize, sure. right? And uh, everyone's coming to me and asking questions around how can we brainstorm, how can we work together as an ecosystem to monetize this investment better? Sure. And, and I think we all need to do it together. It takes a village. 
we take an open approach. We are not a vertically integrated solution. We work with our entire ecosystem. So that's really been the takeaway that it's even more important in these times of rapid change. Right. I mean, we're talking about things changing every week nowadays. Right. Especially um, with AI, right? With yeah. AI, the geopolitics, yeah. everything that's going on. How do we work together as an ecosystem and drive an open approach that drives benefits for everyone? Sure. Right? And I think that's been the most interesting takeaway. I think the industry is ready for that kind of approach. Yeah. Uh, and they need that approach uh, over the next few years. Well, that's a great way to end our conversation, Sachin. I want to thank our viewers for tuning in. This has been 6.5 Media on the road at Mobile World Congress Barcelona 2025. Tune in to our other video content that I'll be posting throughout the week and have a fantastic day.